My first guest tonight, folks, is currently uh, fought over by a couple of idiots in the box office hit Dumb and Dumber. It's number, isn't it number one at the box office? Am I right about that? It's huge. Uh, it's number one, right? Number yeah. one at the box office, Dumb and Dumber. And she also stars in the very uh, intelligent and highly praised television show Picket Fences. Please welcome Lauren Holly. Lauren Holly. <laughs> There you go. Mein Schwieger, get Cayman. I was rolling. Were you? Rolling. You, Yiddish, your mama, you. Yes, I was eating some kreplach and rolling. I'm sorry, crep what? Kreplach. Very nicely done. Right? Thank Very you. nicely done. <laughs> Are you having uh, trouble uh, over the holidays? I imagine your name, Lauren Holly, evokes uh, quite a bit of holiday laughter. Yeah. Are people making fun of you? You know, uh, deck the halls with limbs of holly. Things like that. It's Kids not can very be nice. so cruel, can't they? I know, isn't that mean? Bastards. It's not nice. Holly's a nice name. Or or forget about even holiday time. I mean I have two first names. So you know, they're I. always writing my name Lauren, comma, Holly. You know, like it's Holly Lauren. I don't know. I don't know. It's totally unfair. Lauren, how do you get through the day? I don't know. Know. How do you do it? But it's good you're over it. I, I trust you had a lovely Christmas. Beautiful Christmas. Good Christmas presents. Really? What'd you get? <laughs> this should be interesting, folks. Uh -huh. Got a karaoke machine. Did you really? Mm -hmm. I love those. Mm -hmm. Have you used it yet? Nope, not yet. I have to figure out how to put it in. Oh, you haven't used it yet, uh -huh. huh? Uh huh. Think you'll take it back? No, definitely not. I think it, I'll probably become obsessed with it. I think you probably will. Yeah. Who, uh, who gave you that? <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, Jim Carrey gave me that. I'm not familiar with him. <laughs> he gave me something else that's kind of cool. I don't know if I want to hear this. <laughs> what else did he give you? He gave me Lucille Ball's Emmy nomination plaque from 1967, 1968. Wow, that is cool. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Why, uh... That's not a pro I thought they'd just call you up and go, you're nominated. No, no, no. You get, like, this piece of paper, but then they, you know, it was a bigger deal. They, like, did this whole black thing, yeah. I'm so, glad to see. I'll be honest with you. I was reading in the Star recently um, that uh, you and Jim were, were not an item anymore and that he apparently was with Elvis or something. It was something uh -huh. in there about the fact that you guys were, were broken up. Is that, that's not the case? Um, no, you shouldn't believe everything you read. I do. <laughs> but you're, you're, it's obviously you're back together. Yeah. Where did you guys meet? Yeah. Um, the first time I met him was when I auditioned for Ace Ventura. Okay. And um, they asked me to do Courtney Cox's role. Right. And I didn't. Right. For other reasons. And then Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. So you basically fell in love with him when he had the haircut. Yeah, and the chipped tooth. The chipped tooth. Yeah, that did it. That put me right over the top. So now that he's growing his hair out, are you thinking, well, you where's know, my I, dumb yeah, guy? Like, yeah. Is he dumb or dumber? Which, which one is he in this? Um, personally, I think he's dumber because he can't read. At least Jeff Daniels' character can read. Yeah. You know, and but he can't read. At so, all. Yeah, not at all. So I think he's dumber. Are you amazed and pleased that this is the number one movie in the country right yeah, now? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's it's amazing. Yeah. It's uh. It, it... <laughs> yeah. I wasn't looking for that at all. You know why it's the number one movie? Because people see you're buttoning. You, you show yeah, your Yeah, they button. do. Thanks. Yeah. Right. I actually thought I'd get that. I, I, let me tell you, I just want to put it out there that I, I was you already wearing have. underwear. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I was wearing underwear. I didn't know that was going to happen. That was like just something that he did. And of course, that's the take they printed and it made it into the movie. It and, certainly um, did. But, you know, but I did have underwear on. Let me tell you something, though. <laughs> it's a marvelous, marvelous scene. And I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank we have to you. take a commercial break on that note. I'm so sorry. I've seen your butt. Hey, we got to go. Um, but we'll be right back with more Lauren Holly. Stick around. The John Stewart Show is brought to you by Hyundai, cars that make sense. And by MasterCard. It's more than a credit card. It's smart money.
this is the real year-end countdown to wait for. The Hyundai Countdown Clearance Sale. We're ending a big year with a big bang. Choose between a $750 factory cash rebate or 3.5% financing on Elantras. Or get a $1,000 factory cash rebate on the 95 Sonata. Car and driver's choice over Camry and Lumina. Or put nothing down and make no monthly payments for 90 days. Hey, we're dealing on everything. But it ends soon, so if you miss this countdown, you can count yourself out. The countdown is on for huge savings during the Hyundai Countdown Clearance Sale. Sure, Gold MasterCard has a leap to $5,000 credit line, so you can buy all kinds of things, but you can't buy time. Well, I don't know. You could buy plane tickets and fly across five time zones, and it'll be even earlier than when you left. You could even go to Switzerland, and that's a great place to buy time. But wherever you go, you won't have to waste your time looking for a great exchange rate, because with MasterCard, a great exchange rate is exactly what you'll get. So I guess Gold MasterCard really can buy you time. Just remember to set your watch back. Watch back. Now, how's that for a useful card? Gold MasterCard. It's more than a gold card. It's smart money. This week, People unveils the 25 most intriguing people of 1994. Who burst on the scene, who made a comeback, and who might be gone for good. Plus, dramatic feuds and touching farewells. All in this week's year-end double issue of People. Pick it up today. Not a very interesting piece. Reminiscent of early Dottie's. If he's so smart, why is he using those other batteries? Now, it's... <laughs> You're right, Mom. The museum can be fun. The Copper Top. Tops them all. Now, to each man who shaves, there's an edge all his own. Only Edge Gel has eight custom formulas to fit every shaving need. From tough beards to sensitive skin, for a close, comfortable shave, get an edge of your own. Ultimate closeness, ultimate comfort. That's the edge. And try improved Edge Aftershave, now more soothing than ever. Come tonight, we have author Paul Rudnick. I believe we have music from Method Man, and we also have comedian Brian Hart. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we're going to Wait. Ladies and gentlemen, Lauren Holly would like to say something right now. Please, Lauren, please. I want to say happy birthday to my brother, Nick, because he's right up there. Oh, he's right up there? <laughs> Wait, Nick. Nick Holly. There'll be no applauding for yourself. <laughs> His name is Nick Holly. Yeah, Nick Holly. That's you got it thing. worse than me at this time of year, I think. I'm sorry? I know, I may be a Jew, but I read. <laughs> he yells at me, Saint Nick. Oh, like I haven't heard of Nick. <laughs> Son of a gun. You know the, I would attack your brother, but I know you know the karate moves. Yeah. Because I saw yeah, you in the movie be Dragon. Careful, man. It's amazing. Look, do we have a picture? I want to show you the picture. This is a lovely. Oh, oh not that one. It's the butt again. That's the other one. Show the other. There you go. Look at you, cut and working out, and that's uh, Bruce Lee right next to you? Yeah. On the thing. Did you enjoy doing that movie? I love that movie. Great time. Great time. Um, traveling to Hong Kong and all of that. It was very kind of spiritual. Not to mention the fact that I got to spend so much time with Linda Lee. Sure. You know, the real Linda oh, Lee. Oh, the real. Before, yeah. during, after. She's an amazing lady. Yeah. You know what amazed me? She, she wrote a lot of this, right? Or mm -hmm. this is based mm -hmm. on her story? On her book, yeah. And your character came out as like a saint in the movie. Bruce was like... I know, I, I want to pursue Kung Fu, <laughs> and you're like, do what you want. You were like a saint, and then I realized, oh, she wrote it. <laughs> no, no, but it's true. I mean, I think that she really was so supportive of him. Really? Yeah. Uh, do, do you watch the fight scenes in the movie? Did you? Mm -hmm. You know what my favorite part was, man? What? When he's fighting that one guy yeah. with long hair. Yeah. You know, and uh, they're fighting real hard, and Bruce is fighting hard, but he's not fighting his hardest. And then the one guy connects to his nose, and he did that all-time classic Kung Fu movie, he goes like this, <laughs> and he looks down, and he's bleeding, he goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then he just, he was like, all right, no, now you want to play? We'll play. Right. That was... Jim has a karate move in Dumb and Dumber, and when he sees blood, he goes a little crazy, too. Does he really? Yeah, see, I only do movies that have karate fights in them. I think you only should. <laughs> Are you guys going to hang together? I I, he's the funniest man I've ever seen. I just think he's amazing. He's pretty funny. When he's doing those movies. And uh, uh, are you guys going to get together for New Year's Eve, maybe? Yeah, we're going to do a little New Year's Eve. I mean, hopefully this New Year's Eve will be better than... My last New Year's Eve. That you and I spent together. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. No, I wanted. Oh my God. Man. We can't do it. I got away with that all during the holidays. We can't do it anymore. No, um, last New Year's Eve, I thought. <laughs> yeah, there you go. 
I'll chill out. I was traveling a lot. I had to go right back to work on picket fences. So yeah. I was by myself. I thought it was going to be a really good idea until it was midnight and I was sitting there with my bottle of champagne watching the ball drop on television. It was a little depressing. Yeah, welcome to my so. life. <laughs> Every night, Scotch I, and Tom Waits. <laughs> no. I want to show a clip from Dumb and Dumber to give the people a little uh, taste yeah. of what the movie's about. Uh, this is Dumb. Do you know the scene we're showing here? Um, I think, is it One in a Million? Is it that one? Yes. Lauren Holly in Dumb and Dumber, and this is lovely. What are my chances? Not good. <laughs> you mean not good? Good, like one out of a hundred? I'd say more like one out of a million. So you're telling me there's a chance? <laughs> yeah! That's tremendous. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing this thing. Funny. Yeah, I it's can imagine funny. it's pretty funny. And you still got the picket fences thing going, so yeah. uh, we'll look forward to that. Is that going to get any more racy? Because you've had, what, you've had you midgets You know something? I just and... read a script on the plane flight here from Los Angeles. Right. It has me a little worked up. Really? It's a Valentine's Day show. There's so many hormones going on that I can't believe it, and mm -hmm. I'm going to kind of go bump in the night with someone. Really? Someone that I've gone bump with before, almost. Midget? That's my hint. <laughs> no. You like that? He jumped up on a chair. The other <laughs> <time>. <laughs> well, there's nothing fun. Oh, um, well, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I want to thank you for coming by. It was delightful. Thank you. I told Jim I said hello. I will. Nice to see you. <laughs> Dumb and Dumbers in theaters now. Lauren Holly, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up, Paul Rudnick. We'll be right back. Excellent.